Ladies and gentlemen, uh, brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum everybody. Uh, I am Mohammed Ben Azouz, uh, teacher of uh, English in high school and a calligrapher. Uh, the place is uh, Mazafran uh, Hotel and uh, the occasion is uh, organization of uh, the International Festival of Arabic Calligraphy. I would like to uh, welcome here with uh, Mr. Barbie, who is, uh, who is a calligrapher and an artist. Uh, good morning, Barbie. Good morning, how are you? How are you doing? Uh, excellent. Fine. Happy to be here. Uh, great. So, uh, won't you just, Barbie, uh, let my viewers know about you, about your uh, name and uh, where you're from, where do you live and so on? Uh, well, my name is Everett Barbie. I was born and raised in Nashville, Tennessee, in the United States. And I'm currently working as an artist uh, in Beirut, Lebanon. And I was invited here to this event to, to learn more about calligraphy uh, because in my artwork I always use Arabic calligraphy to uh, create various shapes or people or animals. Uh, but uh, I'm not a calligrapher in the traditional sense of the word. Uh, so but I hope one day maybe I will. So uh, is it the first uh, participation uh, out, uh, out of Lebanon? Uh, yes, this, this one. Well, I've, I've had a few. Uh, Exhibits in Scotland, where I lived before. I mean, in, in terms of internationality. Oh I mean. uh, yeah, apart from yeah. Uh, the first one. Yeah, uh, great. Uh, uh, Barbie, uh, the greatest interesting question uh, is that: uh, What was the sparkle that made you, or, or lighted you, uh, or lighted you with uh, this kind of art, the art of the calligraphy? I mean, what was the story? What was the, the point? The beginning point? Uh, well, I. I I became introduced to calligraphy when I was living in Syria uh, for my studies to learn uh, the Arabic language. And uh, it's immediately obvious that it's uh, by far the most sophisticated uh, form of artwork uh, ever created because uh, it's you know, been perfected over you know, more than 1500 years. Uh, so I guess the question that uh, I'm trying to answer is uh, how can uh, I show the love uh, to the American people that uh, I have for the Middle East and the Islamic world and what could be the best tool to, to show what a wonderful part of the world this is, uh, as I've come to know it. And uh, Arabic calligraphy seems to me the, the best way to convey that uh, to an audience that would otherwise be unfamiliar with uh, the Middle East or the Islamic world. Yeah, so use it as a, as a bridge to... Uh, to, uh, let's say, make a proximity between the uh, East and the West. Exactly. Uh, in terms of uh, culture, great. So, uh, I just could observe that you are here in the hotel and uh, in the museum. I see that you are uh, very well integrated with people here. How did you see the atmosphere? Uh, well, the atmosphere of the museum was wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, everybody in participating in this event is uh, incredibly... Especially with people and calligraphers, I mean, in terms of interaction and sharing uh, experiences and practicing sometimes. Yeah, I mean, everyone here is uh, eager to share with you what they know and uh, to help you learn more and develop. And uh, I mean, everyone here is wonderfully friendly, uh, incredibly nice people, kind, uh, very devout and uh, really devoted to this craft. You see that uh, it is really peculiar to, to to find someone, a man from the Occident, and interested in uh, Oriental art. Oh, you see, and getting uh, getting or uh, seeking to to get professional in it. You see, so this peculiarity lies in the in the, in the sense that uh, the sense that two cultures, two major cultures, and uh, which, which are different in origins. Yeah. Uh, how do you see or how do you use Arabic calligraphy in this, in this, in this frame, in this dichotomy? Um, well, I, I try to create art in a, in a Western way that, you know, doing portraits or uh, scenery, things like uh, visual arts, uh, which is obviously a, well, it's, it's not exclusive to the West, but contrary to Islamic art which is uh, all about the, the letters themselves oh. and they avoid this drawing of uh, oh. shapes and people. Uh, so for me I try to bring the two together to, oh. to make Arabic calligraphy in a way that is uh, accessible uh, to these uh, Western audiences if you will. So, uh, so I see that you are making so I see that uh, as if your job is to uh, to make uh, the image of the, the, the East in terms of art clearer to the West, because uh, this helps or this uh, gets the image clearer than it is in the West. Because it is well known that uh, people there can have some bad images on uh, the East. So, Barbie, thank you very much for being uh, present with us, and I wish it, it will not be uh, it is not the last. Uh, uh, 
occasion you are with us. Yeah. Inshallah. To find, to find you with us uh, in the following years. Yeah, right? certainly. I, I definitely want to come back. This has been a fantastic experience. Mm -hmm. okay. Anything to say to uh, advice, opinion, uh, in Arabic? Okay? Uh, uh. أنا مبسوط كثير ل... أنا أنا هون ولكن أنا أسف للأربيتي وليس جيد لكن أنا أتعلم جميل جميل anyway thank you very much Barbie great to have you here wish to see you again thank you very much certainly great